looking for a place to live, and I'm looking for a place to live. So we thought, why not find a place together? You know? And I'm supposed to be excited about you moving out of here. I told you I wasn't ready to live with you yet. Yeah, but you, Layla, roommates. What? You don't think it's a good idea? Well, she's an out-of-work actress. You sure she can pay the rent? Rex, she has a job, okay? I'm the one out of work. Since when? Since I quit Craze. Well, does Dorian know? I told her tonight. She may still be my mother, but she doesn't need to be my boss. So now I have to start looking for a job. All right, no problem. Plenty of magazines will hire you. I'm not so sure I want to do that anymore. Or modeling, either. Adriana, Bruce only pretended to stalk you. It had nothing to do with you being a model. Yeah, and everything to do with my mother hating the fact that you're in my life, I know. Are you still serious about what you said earlier? You bet. I want to hurt Dorian as much as she hurt me. I'm no longer your employee or your daughter. What part of get out don't you understand? Don't you walk away from me. And I want to tell you, the next time I am... I am calling the police. You misunderstood the situation, Renee. You misunderstood my ability to tolerate your sleazy behavior. Dorian, would you please tell Renee that I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just the bad guy's brother. What's he done this time? Nothing. I was having an innocent drink. He was talking to the mayor's wife, asking her how much she'd like to pay to spend the night with him.
now really isn't a good time, Uncle Bo. You know, I've got these uh, forensic exams coming up, and I'm pulling an all-nighter. Well, that'll have to wait. Uh, I need to talk to you. After the test? Please? No, I'm sorry. We have to talk right now. Normally, I would totally make you guess animal, mineral, or vegetable. But this news, it is w way too good to make you wait. Marcy. I know, I know. Get to the point, right? Well, Janice Dixon called. And she said that Judge Granger made her decision. And she chose us. Michael, she chose us. We get to adopt Tommy. Isn't that great? Isn't that news just so wonderful? Yeah, yeah that's... That's really great, Marcy. Yeah, I know. All we have to do now is fill out the paperwork, and then Tommy's ours. And look, look, I even got, I even got us some champagne, you know, to celebrate because you're gonna be a daddy. Marcy, there was an accident on I-65. Oh, I know. I know. I, I saw it on the news. Is that where you were? Yeah. I'm so sorry, Michael. I've, I'm so excited about Tommy. I just kept blabbing. I'm, I'm so sorry. It must have been terrible. I wasn't there to treat the injured. I am. Um, Michael, what is this? I am. Um, Michael, I had to I, identify. John. John what? He was in an accident. He's dead. I'm sorry, Uncle Bo. You know, these exams are really hard. So can we please just talk tomorrow? It's about John, Natalie. Do you like balloons? John was uh, planning a special night for us, and I, I thought I'd do something fun for him, for when he comes home. He's not coming home. There was an accident. Is he okay? What hospital is he in? I'm, I'm going to actually go there. Natalie. He didn't make it. to sell yourself to the mayor's wife? No. Beats digging ditches for a living. Get out and don't come back. No. Renee, let him stay. I'll make sure he behaves. Oh, not possible. I agree, but everyone deserves a second chance. Oh, thank you. Are you sure you want to do this? Not really. But if he misbehaves again... I'll call the police myself. Oh, you are one lucky. You are so lucky to have this woman in your life. Thank you. But if you're about to launch into a lecture, I think I'd rather leave. No. No lectures. Thank you very much for sticking up for me with Adriana. I'm living in a glass house myself anyway, and don't ask me about Clint because, oh, I really blew it. If it makes you feel better, I can identify. I haven't exactly been voted Landview's most popular resident. You know, trying to seduce the mayor's wife wouldn't have helped. I need the money. I want to start a fresh life somewhere else. You're leaving? I have no job, no money, and no place to live. People in this town treat me as if I've got some sort of contagious disease. Why shouldn't I leave? Because I'd miss you. I'm sorry, what? Because I'd miss you, you moron. That's really sweet. I appreciate it. But it doesn't pay their rent. Landview will feel empty without you. Come with me. Come on, Rex. Haven't you heard the expression, revenge is sweet? Revenge can also ruin your life. Why don't you just forget about Dorian and move on? 
Hello? She hired someone to stalk me, and then he kidnapped me, and then he almost killed you. She has to be punished. And you had her arrested. That's not enough. You really want to see your mother in jail? She's not my mother. She's a monster. And monsters deserve to be locked up for the good of society. Bruce is dead. You can't testify against her. Well, then the police can build a case against him on my testimony. Oh, then it's your word against Dorian's. That's not enough. I can't let her go free, Rex. Why not? She can't stop us from being together. She knows how much she hurt you. Isn't that punishment enough? Apparently not, since she still thinks she can control my life. Just ignore her. I doubt she'll hire another pseudo-stalker. This isn't funny, Rex. I was never so scared in my entire life. I know. You're safe now. Because of you. But my mother still hates you. I don't care. I do. I need to teach her a lesson. How? I'm not sure. I got a couple ideas. I urge somebody to stalk her. And what? He'll put a bag over her head, hold a knife to her throat. She knows that's what happened to you. She'll probably be flattered by the imitation. Please help me, or I'll do it without you. What if something goes wrong and you get hurt? I'll risk it. All right, I'm in. No, thank you. Well, I just hope you feel that way when it's over. You won't be sorry, I promise. I already am. You really want to get back at her? All right. Then you've got to make her suffer over something she really cares about. No. Okay, no, because John, he can't. Yeah. No, Michael, I can't. An 18 wheeler jumped the divide on the highway. Hit him head on. I don't. I don't believe this. The car exploded. He never had a chance, Marcy. Are you really sure about this, Michael? Because, you know, I mean, a lot of people got hurt in that accident. I saw his body. No. I'm so sorry, Michael. Why, John? Why did this have to happen? No, no, John's, uh, fine. I know it. I can feel it. Totally. You called me earlier to tell me that you thought that something was wrong. Yeah, well, I was being neurotic, you know, overprotective. <laughs> Makes John crazy. Um, Natalie. Look, would I buy all these balloons if I thought something was wrong? I mean, would I be cramming for an exam if I thought that John was gone? This is hard. No, you it's know. not hard because it's a mistake. It's not a mistake. I saw the body. It wasn't him. Okay. John made plans with me. He wouldn't leave me. Okay, he wouldn't. Natalie, he's dead. That's what they said about Christian. This isn't the same. Then prove it. If John's really dead, then I want to see his body now. Well, Nash, mm -hmm. if we're going to have passionate, mind-blowing sex, mm. I need you to have it with me and that schizo girl. The schizo girl is gone. Yeah, I know that. The world knows that. But do you know that? Stop. You've had more drinks than I can count. <clears throat> Are you seeing double of me or Tess? No, oh, come on. This is crazy. Yes, yeah, so is falling in love with a woman who doesn't exist. Tess is gone. What do you want me to say? That she's gone from your heart. Can't. Sorry. <sighs> because... She's part of Jessica, and Jessica's starting to act like her now? Oh, because Tess is a part of Jessica, and Tess is not coming back. I lost her. So, I'm your consolation prize.
Yes. Who are you in bed with? You. Say my name. <laughs> Say it. Claudia. Again. Claudia. <laughs> Claudia. Claudia. <laughs> Claudia. Mm. No. Mm. I will make you scream it. <laughs> Oh my god, what if what if Natalie's at home waiting for John? Bo will tell her. No, Bo doesn't know where she is. She told me that she was going to John's house. I'll just call her. I can't, I can't tell her the silver phone. I can't tell her the silver phone. Go to her. Maybe I don't want to leave you. I'll be okay. Your sister needs you more than I do right now. I love you. I love you too. Go. I can't even imagine what this is going to do to Natalie. Yeah. yeah. John's family too. Michael must be going through the worst nightmare of his life. How could John be gone? Doesn't make sense. It never does. I can't imagine a world without him. You know, even when we weren't getting along, you know, I, I knew all I had to do was pick up the phone and call him. And he'd be there for me. And now? I need my big brother, Marcy. I'm scared. Please, Marcy, don't. Don't ever leave me. Never. I'm never gonna leave you. You're my world. He needs you. What's the matter? What's the matter with my big boy, huh? What's the matter? Your diaper's not wet. Oh, what's the matter? Are you hungry? Maybe are you hungry? What's the matter? Are you hungry? You want some baba? Yes. Oh. Did you have a nightmare? Huh? Marcy. Yeah, baby. I don't know. Of course you can. Hold it. Is it a monster? I thought so. Hmm. Let me let you in on a little secret, pal. My arms are force fields, and no monsters can pass through them. So you're safe, buddy. So long as you're in my arms, in your mom's arms, because we have secret powers. Protect you for everybody. Where is he? I want to see him. That's not a good idea. Why not? Just take my word for it. That's not good enough. Okay, John told me that he was coming home, and I believe him. You know, so unless there's some sort of proof that he's dead, then I, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to wait for him to walk through that door. Okay, are you going to take me to the morgue, Uncle Bo, or do I have to go myself? Oh, well, Natalie. Natalie. I want you to remember him the way he was. Why? I mean, nothing could be worse than what I am picturing He's in my nice. head. He was burned very badly. I don't even know what's him. Because his, his height and his weight matched. That, that could be thousands of guys. But Michael was there with me. He's the one that identified the body. Did he look? Did he really look? Look, we found his badge. It was right next to the body. We also saw some tattoos. They were visible. Okay, the badge, the badge, it flew, it, it flew away during the crash. And, I mean, lots of guys have tattoos. He could still be at the site. I've got to go fight him. Oh, Natalie, it must... There's something else. We found this.
What does your mother care most about? Money. Okay. That's easy then. Go after a wallet. I want her on the street, Rex. Are you sure about this? Because once we get the ball rolling, it could be a little hard to stop. I'm not going to change my mind. <sighs> All right. Bankruptcy's an option. I'm thinking something a little more emotional. Well, my mother is very attached to her bank account. I mean, she loves being rich. All right, well, then she'll just figure out a, another way to get rich. People like her always do. In fact, it's the reason they get up in the morning. Uh, what else does she care about? Her girls, or so she says. Do you really want to hurt Blair or Kelly? Oh, God, no. Of course not. I mean, it's hard enough being one of Dorian's girls. I, they don't need to be caught in the middle. Come on, Rex, just keep thinking. I need something guaranteed to work. Uh, men. David broke her heart, but she's over him. Are you sure? Yeah. She has a thing for Clint Buchanan. I saw them kissing. She was like a teenager, but I told you, he broke up with her when he found out what she did. All right, Clint might be the way to go. I gotta think about it. On a scale of one to ten, how obsessed am I? Oh, a hundred. That's what I love about you. My capacity for hate? No, I think of it as a commitment. You know what you want. In this case, it's revenge. Hmm. So, where do we start? Here. Would this make your mother crazy? Mary. How about this? She'd go insane. Let's send her to the booty bin. <laughs> go away with you? <laughs> You're joking. I've never been more serious in my life. Why do you need to stick around and land you? It's not like you need to stay here for the money. I get it. You want me and my checkbook. I always want you, baby. The money doesn't hurt. Oh, I so appreciate your honesty. Look, the truth is, I'm going whether you come with me or not. You threatened to leave before. I know. But this time I'm really going. I'm not going to stick around here for Spencer's trial. But you'll have to testify. So I'll leave a forwarding address. Haven't you ever just wanted to ditch everything and start all over again? Mm, many, many, many times. It sounds tempting, but... But, 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 but what? But we'd be running away. I love running away. It's what I do best. No, no, no. If, if, if I went away now, I, I, I'd, I'd never be able to win my daughter back. Or Clint. So what? Those two, they did nothing but hurt you. Oh, no. No, no, no. I've hurt them much more. Remorse is not a quality that suits you. David, I, I couldn't leave now. I mean, not with my daughter hating me. No, no, I've, I've got to win her back. What am I going to do without you? Survive. Hmm. You always do. It's not exactly a skill that you can put on a resume. Don't be so sure. Beverly Altman. David Vickers. You're a casting director? And you're a hot tamale for a guy your age. Easy. She meant that as a compliment. I absolutely did. Ever consider a career in showbiz? You know that you don't need any secret powers, right? The only thing I need is you. I need you. Tommy needs you. You know, this is what it's about. You know, you have us and we have you. <laughs> well, he's damn lucky to have you. <laughs> we both are.
carefully coordinated test of the broadcast stations and cable systems of your area. Equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. If this had been an actual emergency, such as a hurricane, tornado, or other emergency condition, official messages would have followed the alert tone. This station serves the entire state of Florida. This test is brought to you by the Florida Department of Community Affairs, Division of Emergency Management, and the Florida Association of Broadcasters. This concludes this test of the Florida Emergency Alert System. Vicky, I'll have no. to come by. Natalie? I, I just, I don't want to see anyone, Uncle Bo. I just, I want to, I want to, I want to be alone. I'm, I'm fine. I'll be fine. You're not fine. I am fine. Okay, please, Uncle Bo. Let me do this my way. Please. Okay. Please. I want you to promise me, though, that you're going to call your mom and you're going to call me later. Yeah. Okay? She's the best judge of what she needs right now. I think maybe you're right. But I also think that she doesn't want anybody else telling her what she needs. Any more than you do. Well, can you promise me that she's going to be okay? She's not okay. But she's going to get through this. And we have to let her. Okay? Her way. She's so alone. The way she wants it right now. Fine. But just for tonight. Just for tonight. Come on. <laughs> Tell Bo I'll be home if he needs me. Gloria, I'm a PD. John's car was hit head on. Exploded on impact. That's awful. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you, uh, can reach Natalie? No. Um, I ran into Bo outside John's door and... He said that she didn't want to see anyone. Well, then you go to her. You let her tell you what she wants. I would. Except that I... I can almost feel her pain. I don't know, like it was my own. I kind of feel like she needs to be alone with it.
a career in showbiz. Acting. I've done that my whole life. He's had no formal training. He doesn't need any. This is Hollywood we're talking about. Wait. Will I have to do nude scenes? With that body? Definitely. Thank God. Where do I sign up? You have my card. I head back to the coast tomorrow. If you're ever in town, give me a call. Would you like to help me write my Oscar acceptance speech right now? Oh, please. Oh, come on, you're not seriously considering this, are you? She is a legitimate casting director. She has a business card. And she thinks I'm a natural. A natural con artist. That's what acting is. Come on, think about it. I've been training for this my whole life. And it beats trying to bed the mayor's wife for dough. I would tell you to be careful, but then you always do land on your feet. I guess it's Hollywood or bust. Don't bust. Come with me. You can be my leading lady. Oh, no thanks. I'm already starring in my very own little drama right here in Landview. We had good times, didn't we? Yes. We did, always. We'll miss you. I'll miss you. It's okay. I'm going home. You okay and I. I just wanna be alone now with a dark and night. That's my favorite color blue. As a sunset in the sky. There's just something.
to plan a funeral for a hero. She's not going to know that John wanted her to marry him. Maybe she should know. You caused this. You killed John.